Good job. Woo. You did so good. Was that fun? <laughs> you like it? Cause we got all the time in the world for better or worse. We should stay together. So let's stay young and in love. We should focus on us forever. Yeah, baby, if you are feeling like I do. Ready to brush your teeth? I want to brush your teeth. Are you ready to go to the doctor? Yeah. Okay, so here's her hair, guys. Today's the big day. I mean, to be honest, it's even worse from like two weeks ago. Like, it is just ridiculous. I'm thinking about cutting it now, but I'll show you. I am going to put it in a ponytail again, like I always do. And it actually looks cute, but otherwise, look at me, Stella. It's just so short, like, I don't know what to do. So we're gonna go check it out with the doctor. We're gonna go try to, whoa, say excuse me. We're gonna get some answers, hopefully. Not sure what else she can suggest or do, but we're gonna try. I got it. Are you ready to go to the doctor? Okay, yeah. let's get dressed. This hair, I mean, she does have a little bit of bed head, but it's <laughs> it's pretty bad from the last time. Anyway, we'll show you how we can do it in a ponytail, huh? Okay, let's get dressed. She pulls Oh, yep, she pulls out Minnie. See, she gets these little cotton balls, huh? That's so sad for Minnie. And Minnie, she pulled out Yeah, Minnie. you pulled out Minnie, and then she rubs it on her face. Go throw it away. You hurt Minnie. So these are her silk hats that she picks from every single night. Huh, Stella? Come here. Libby's just in class right now. What? You like the blue one? So we put her hair up and then put those silk hats on, but she ends up taking them off. Do you like your hats? I like hats. Okay. So I bought these just off of Amazon. They're um, helpful when she's pulling out her hair. It doesn't pull out quite as much. So we put one of these in her hair at night in a ponytail. She's got a whole little pile there. So those were the suggestions. Um, we also bought tons of minis because she's obsessed. Like this one has a little blanket on it and her ears make noises and she's got some ruffles. Can you rub Minnie's ears? That's what the doctor told us to do. They make noise and then she just puts all of these around her um she had this little ball mini that she pulled out all the cotton from and we posted it in our last vlog so go check that out if you haven't a little bit more details on how we put her to bed and everything so anyway we've got to hurry and get ready okay so we can go to the doctor and see if there's any other suggestions that she has she might want to do blood work this time i'm not sure guys it's gotten pretty bad though i feel like every day when i do her hair it's like i can pull this part up but this front is getting shorter and shorter i should probably cut it but the doctor said don't cut it because if you can pull some up that's helpful so we'll see what she says today okay what do you want to wear I guess my okay <laughs> You like it? You're doing good. Let's change your diaper first, okay? You wanna wear that one? Oh yeah, cute. <laughs> Do you need some help? You need some help? Yeah. Okay, she's doing pretty good. I was helping her. And what are these? Mimi. We're gonna start potty training Stella by the end of the month. Mom's just gotta gear up. So stay tuned for that vlog. We'll give you all of our tips and tricks, but she's excited to wear minis, huh? Yeah, mini. You'll get to wear those when you go in the toilet. No more diapers, okay? <laughs> she's getting excited, so we bought some underwear. She's trying to gear her up. 
so hopefully it goes well. Minnie! Yes, Minnie, that'll be fun. Ready to go try to do your hair? It's pretty like impressive I can get all of this up with a lot of water, hairspray. Let's go see how it works today because maybe she pulled more last night. You ready? <laughs> Let's show everyone how we try to do your hair. Why? Here, you want to brush your teeth again? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Stella? I like it! She likes it. So she loves her hair. She thinks it looks pretty, but let me get up close here. Can you stand on the stool? Um, you see these little pieces on the side. They're going to start to throw out on both sides because they're this long. And I just try to spray it and get it wet as much as I can. I like it! And then her little ponytail is so little, but I'm going to show the doctor this is what I can do, but then we're going to bring a brush and take it out for the doctor. All right, you ready? Yeah! Okay. So here's another thing we've tried to use. She loves blankets and soft things. So these have little balls on the end of them that she'll sit with while she watches the show and kind of rub them all over her face. Mom's just got to get ready because I was getting everyone else ready before school. So I'm going to go get ready and then we'll go, okay? Okay. 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 So you can already see these little hairs are trying to pop up. But it's good enough for now and we'll see what the doctor says. Okay, you ready? Okay, what show do you want? Okay. All right, you guys. Today is the big day. Taking Stella to the doctor to get an update on her hair pulling. Like I said, and I showed you this morning, not really sure what we else we can do about it. We've done all the tips the doctor gave us the first time around. If you haven't checked out that vlog, go check it out. We go to the doctor, we explain everything she said about her hair pulling. So we're hoping we get some more advice or some better news on how to stop the hair pulling. So we got Marcos in the house. I'm home. He's home. He only had one surgery today, which is perfect timing because now I can leave and not have to worry about the kids getting on for school and Ty and Hallie trying to help Livy and all the things. Livy is actually done with school for the day. She had what's called MAPS testing, so that's awesome. So Marcos is in charge. Now I can go and take Stella to the doctor and not be worried about what's going on at home. So we better get going. Here's a little update on this. We'll show you when we get home. Where's Stella? Where's Stella? Oh, are you getting your shoes on? Yeah. All right. So as you can see, her hair has already fallen out. I mean, she was kind of rolling around on the couch a little bit and stuff, but it's just so short. Like, there's really not much I can do. So we'll show the doc. Put your boots on. Okay. Right, you 
guys we made it just in time we just have a couple minutes to spare um Stella fell asleep it's about a 40 minute drive from her house so I really love this pediatrician she's been the only one to give me any answers and not blow this off this has been going on since October of 20 of 2019 so almost a year and a half um it's gone on and off it's gotten really bad and then it's gotten worse like just trying to get some answers direction on where to go so we'll take you along with us I'll vlog as much as I can but um, because of privacy reasons I won't be vlogging the doctor and what she's saying to us but I will relay all the information to you and get as much as I can so time to wake up little Stella and take her on in so here we go Stella see her hair is really getting messed up Stella ready to wake up Stella, she is tired. Do you want to go to the doctor, honey? Want to go to the doctor? You ready? Hi. Did you have a good little nap? Huh? Yeah. Are you happy? Should we go to the doctor? Can you hold my hand? Do you want to push the two? Right here. Good job. Here we go. Let me see your cute mask. <gasps> Who's on your mask? Mini mask. Yes. Okay, you ready? Wanna put it on? Okay, good thing mom has some. Stella is actually getting her well checked today. Um, she'll be three in April, so she does have to get one shot, and um, we're kind of knocking it out with two visits to be able to do her well check, but also to be able to get her hair pulling. So we're gonna get her down to a dry diaper so the doctor can check her out, right? A goldfish! She's got her goldfish. She Bug. This is gonna go on your arm right here, okay? Oh, you're doing such a good job. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> all right, love. You see that little red line? It's gonna go up all the way over here. Are you ready? Good job, we're almost done. Good job. Ooh. You did so good with that fun. <laughs> you like it? Okay. Is it, did it squeeze you like this? Give you yeah, a hug. Okay. Yep, <laughs> your hands. There we go. Good job. You're doing good, honey. <laughs> so, Livy and Stella have the exact same shoes, and she got one of hers and one of Livy's. One's bigger than the other. <laughs> I was wondering why you were kind of dragging a foot, so that's fun. Yeah. Can I see your legs? <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. We're going to do big questions. Yeah. Okay. You're doing so good. Well done. All done. You're all done. Yay. Oh my gosh. You're so great. Good job, honey. Look, you got a Thank you. Oh, no tears. <laughs> Who's on your band -aid? Say bye bye. Bye. You did so good. Should we go home? Good job. All right, we are all done. Stella, did you like the doctor? Uh -huh. She loves the doctor. I feel like she was the. Don't suck your thumb. Okay. <laughs> I feel like she was the only patient in there, so she got a lot of attention. Anyway, the doctor came in and we talked about everything and, you know, 
when I had all my back issues, which if you haven't checked out those vlogs, go check them out. I had a really serious back injury when we moved, had to get an MRI, a CT, all the things. I was pretty much bedridden for about a month where I couldn't walk. That played a big part in it and that's when I noticed the most that she digressed and she was back and forth with my mom and back with me and back and forth. So she said, obviously that can cause a lot of stress to children, which, I still was having a blast with Grandma and Grandpa, but things affect them. She's like, your move affects them. Non-routine things affects them. Anyway, this is what she does. Hey, what you doing? Um, she's sucking her thumb and she's holding, what's in your hand? Show me what's in your hand. Is it Minnie? Mm -hmm. Let me see. See that little piece of cotton? She found it in her seat because she pulls the little piece of cotton out of Minnie, she sucks her thumb, and she rubs the cotton around her nose, which is fine. I don't really care. Whatever soothes her, you can see right now, or whatever. I just don't want her pulling her hair and rubbing her hair on her face. Anyway, if you want the full story of what's going on, we'll link it at the top right here. Um, the first time we went to the doctor and kind of all the details. So basically she said consistency will be key, routine will be key, but she wants to try occupational therapy. She also heard a murmur when she was checking her because she did get her three year checkup as well. I didn't really know she was going to be doing that. but. Um, so she had to get one little shot today. She didn't even cry. It wasn't even a big deal. Right, Stella? Mm -hmm. How's your ouchie? Okay. Is it okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. She was super tough. So she gave me two referrals, one for pediatric cardiologist, to, just to go check the heart murmur. She's like, it's not this huge one. It's just faint, but she's like, rather be safe than sorry. So we'll probably end up doing that. And then um, she gave me a referral for an occupational therapist. So basically what that is, is she'll go and work with an occupational therapist on behavioral um, ways to deal with stress. Apparently she's stressed. That's kind of what I took out of it. I don't really think she is stressed, but I think a lot of factors come into play here. I think my back, I think moving, I think going back and forth from grandma's house to my house, and I also think just distance learning is like affecting her just as much as it's affecting my kids in school and me. And I think all of that, some kids are more sensitive to, and I think Stella's just more sensitive to it. Even just having this one-on-one -on -one time with her today at the doctor, she's been great and loved it. So. Bottom line, we'll keep you posted. We'll set up that occupational therapist appointment and then we'll go from there. So we'll keep you posted. But for now, we're gonna go grab some lunch, go home, she's gonna take a nap, and we'll take you along with us for the rest of the day. All right, we are back home. We just ate some lunch. We've got some projects going on here, so stay tuned. This will look different by the end of the day, hopefully, right, Marcos? Yes, sir. Our we won't have, it won't be a complete project. We'll see how it turns out. We're putting shiplap behind the TV mounting the TV and putting shelving right here. So that's the whole project. Again, I don't know how much is gonna get done exactly today, but we'll also show you this wall in here. So there is our board and batten wall. It still needs another second coat, but it's gonna look good, especially against the table right here. I think it looks awesome when you walk in, just a pop of brightness. It's coming along, guys. So it's time for Stella to take a nap. So I'm gonna head up there, kind of show you. I mean, we've kind of explained, but I'll just show you again how I do it. And hopefully she doesn't pull her hair and we'll go from there. See, she's sucking her thumb. Let's go night night, sweeties. Okay, come on, bring Mickey. You ready? Oh. <laughs> You're silly. That could have been bad. She's ready for bed, though. Which one? Blue. 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 Okay. <laughs> Come on. You want me to help you put it on? your balls too. Okay, don't pull your hair, okay? Just play with Mickey, okay? Mickey. Here's Minnie too. Good night. <laughs> okay, don't pull your hair, okay? Is that good? All right, how's it looking? Shelf number one. There's gonna be two shelves right there. And then this will all be shiplap. 
All right, fast forward quite a few hours. We've gotten a lot done. We had a yummy dinner, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And kids don't have school tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday, and for some reason they just don't have school, which is totally awesome, right? Yeah. If this is our last week, we have Wednesday off. Yes, they have last Wednesday off too. And here's Stella. You wanna say bye to the vlog? Say I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Okay, say night night. Okay, say good night. <laughs> Sassy pants. Night night. A little bit of update on the entertainment center, so we'll show you that right now. All right, so didn't quite get done, but we got all the shiplap up, it just needs to be painted. He also brought in the shelving right here, so there's gonna be another shelf right there, they're adjustable. I can't decide if I should do a white shelf or he's gonna make me this color wood shelf and have wood shelves, two of them, or white. So comment below what you guys think. He's gonna make me a wood one tomorrow, and I'm gonna see which one I like better. So, got the wood ledge over there, and the wood bottom right here. He's got some siding right here so you won't see this. And then this will almost be done. We're also putting this um, crown molding. It'll be right at the top like that. So it'll look like more finished. And we're getting really close to this. So it's looking good. Still kind of a work in progress. But I'm excited to decorate these shelves and put up some frames and some cute decor. So hopefully that'll be done by the end of the week. We'll keep you guys posted, but for now, I think it's time for what, Hallie? Ice cream! Ice cream cones and Shark Tank? Yes! Yeah. Don't forget about that Shark Tank. That's kind of what we're into lately as a family. Since Survivor hasn't been on and we love Survivor, we've been watching Shark Tank, and it's a great family show. So we've got some, I think I got some waffle cones at Target the other day. <laughs> My kids spotted them. I do have them. And I've got our big freezer out back with ice cream. So, no school tomorrow. <laughs> okay, go pick your flavor of ice cream yeah. and we'll get started. All right, Hallie, what did you choose? Hallie peaches chose and cream. Ooh, peaches and cream in a cone? Yep. All right. Looks like Hallie found some more. <laughs> so our favorite brand is Tillamook, or Tillamook, however you say it, Tillamook. Um, so I was able to kind of stock up because they're kind of hard to find. They're not at Walmart, they only have vanilla. So now we've got chocolate, vanilla, chocolate cookie dough, cookie. and peaches and cream. So which one are you gonna do? All right, Hallie can't stop jumping up and down, so she's gonna do vanilla and peaches and cream. Okay, let's see if I can dish this up. Usually they're broken. Let's hope they're not broken. Ooh, they're big. Ooh, those they're are big. big. Those look yummy. Get some sprinkles. Yummy. Okay, Ty, what flavor do you want? Oh, hey, Dad. What is this? <laughs> Dad's back. Nice bar. Did we buy this from yeah. Cold Stone or something? I know, right? And some real cones. Thank what you. you like? Give me three a scoops. A three scoops. A a three scoops. Occasion, all in moderation. We actually rarely do this. Like, yeah, I don't we've know. never gotten cones, and it's rare that I'm like, let's just have ice cream, you know? So why are you doing it this time? Well, there's no school tomorrow, and I got these cones, and Hallie's been asking, because they were hiding, and she found them, so. Mm, serve me up. All right, guys, so that's a wrap for today. The littles are already in bed, so we're partying without them, but. <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up for Stella being tough, and hopefully we get some answers, and she just stops pulling her hair. I'm hoping she just grows out of it the older that she gets, but thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye. Good night. Bye.